So uh, no more physical paper. So PEXA is the company it runs through, bringing in mass volume over the next 10 years, they reckon. See, it doesn't look that great here, but might be one of those fucking, what's the market cap on it? That's what we want to find out first. Oh, market cap, 2 billion, so it's not tiny. Uh, it is a group. 2 billion, pretty decent. 2 billion is a, watch this, ready? 2 billion to 10 billion, a mid cap stock. You see that? Mid cap stock. There is $2 billion. If you sold every single PEXA share right now at the price that it's valued at, you'd get $2 billion for it. So what do you want to see? We'll go, we'll go highlight real here. Current price, fair value, about right. I don't like the targets. I don't care for that. We want to see free cash flow. It's gone down. It's been trending down. So they got less cash to move around. Free cash flow minus. So I doubt they'll be paying dividends. Um, revenue's going up. Where's that going? We'll see how much the debt in that they have. They've got a couple of ticks here. Earning versus saving rate. Earnings versus market. High growth earnings. So they've got a lot of ways to forecast these things. The P ratio. It's all the different ratios. Our return on equity. Um, this is how they're spending their money. Revenue. Gross profit, expenses. This is where they're allocating their expenses. R&D, 50 mil. So they're still looking for more stuff. Earnings is pretty high. So this is the same sort of shit. Um, but zoomed in, we can see like operating expenses. So the expenses are costing more and more to operate. And they're making more revenue as well. Earnings is in the dunny. <laughs> Literally. March 31st, 2023. So they lost money. Earnings, they lost money. Um, financial health. You can pause any of this shit. I'm just trying to keep it. Debt to equity. Cash and equivalence. So de debt to equity. So debt has just remained at 297 million. Uh, and equity has remained. So just flatlining for the last year and a half of what they own and what they owe. I, um, yeah, I mean, look, yeah, loan money to make money, spend money to make money. That's not a bad thing, but at the same time, like, it's hard to tell whether it's a good thing, huh? No dividend. Twenty twenty five, twenty twenty six. 2026, so forecasts, but never paid a dividend. And if you've been listening to me, I'm only really interested in dividend payers at the moment. So if I want to take a punt on something that's going to go up, then um, I'd probably just do it on crypto because I know that better, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck, I forgot that you're there, eh? CEO gets 1.8 mil a year, loaded for doing what? <laughs> Ownership, what are they doing? Who's selling, who's buying? Ooh. So here we go. Let's look at this shit. Bit of juicy goss. Re <clears throat> Recent insider transactions. First Centia Colonial Commonwealth Bank sold their shares uh, in August. Show more. Commonwealth Bank bought and then they sold some of it. So Commonwealth. So that, so hey, see they Commonwealth bought at eleven ninety one and they took profit. They took profit, but they've still got three million bucks worth. Um, share insiders are buying shares more than they're selling, so comp so two sh two two in share two insiders sold. Uh, insiders being like individuals, like as in like board members and shit. Oh, no, that's companies. Uh, see, see the people, that's insiders, and the building, that's companies. So just showing these, basically. Ownership breakdown, public, general public. You want to see mainly in, uh, institutions because <laughs> they're the ones that win most of the time. 
less public, really. But it's still it's still pretty fair. It's not too bad. Um, no data ownership. Commonwealth Bank owns twenty three point nine percent of this company, and they're hiring. By the looks of that, eh? They're hiring. I don't know if they got data. I can't click back. So I don't know if they got data. But um, yeah. So I mean, look, good for a punt. <laughs> the end. We'll have a look at the chart, eh? Pexa. Good for a punt. The end. If you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What have we learned about trends today, kids? <sighs> yeah, so, because this is a punt, yeah? I want to see it. I mean, it's range lows. You're buying at range lows. This is range lows. Range lows. So, if you're taking a punt, it's not a bad time to buy. It's not a bad time to buy if you're taking a punt and you just want to buy, buy range lows. If it's like a long-term investment, you know what I mean? If it's a long-term investment, then what you want to do is you want to wait till it starts going up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wants to start going up. Because how much time you got? How much time you got? This is a daily chart. It's been doing this shit since, since it started. <laughs> Like, how long's this been? Ready? Six hundred and twenty something days. Two years. It's been just doing this, and this, it, my friends, uh, is a descending triangle, basically rough as guts, but more or less, you get something like that. Slides it down, or fuck the moving average off. You can see it's below it. And then there, and then along there, yeah? It's a descending triangle, 70 plus percent chance that it breaks down further, yeah? Because it's just like boom, 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 weakening this support. Um, and then there's less buyers every single time, more sellers. More sellers will more sellers will find fair value and sell it for cheaper. So it's a descending triangle. So what you wanna see here basically is this, like boom. Maybe buy it there or something, mid-range, fair, if it's a long-term investment. Or if you're a loose animal, you can long-term it there, but at least like for a punt, not bad there. You're just going to have to have the time. Do you have the time poorly? Um, but like I said, one, two, three, four, basically five. So five times since June 2020. So five times in the last 14, 15 months, this has been the best time to buy it. I'm not buying it, but like if you believe in a long term, then it's cheap right now in comparison to the prices that it has been before. I'm getting a bit sick of doing this. It's been an hour. Might do the Woolworths and Coles next week. 